Hi guys and welcome to Network Expose f Windows 8 Crash Course and in this video you're basically going to be taught the basics of this new operating system brought to us by Microsoft. Now the first thing you'll notice is that this desktop is largely similar the same to the Windows 7 one. We've got applications, we've got tabs, we've got power options and Wi-Fi options, that sort of thing. And Microsoft are basically making it easy for you to carry on working your Windows PC the same as you have been for Windows 7 or Vista or XP and it's also added some really exciting features for you guys that are really ready to embrace the change of the operating system so yeah I'll just take us through that the first thing you'll notice is there's no start menu button instead what Microsoft had done is they've hidden um, windows in the corners of your PC and the start menu one will be in the bottom left so if we just click there and it'll take us to start menu and straight away you can see that it's completely changed I mean before it was like uh, I can't really say drop down it was more of a drop up list if you can say that and now it's more of um, a sort of applications list like you find on your iPod or something like that and you got really useful things like mail weather or news and you can go directly to them and I think that's the appeal it's instant access to exactly what you want so say if I'm like okay today I really wanna look at the news so I click on the news application and wow I'm straight at news and I can read whatever's been going on in the week or um, in, on, in, in, on, on today, on today, no today, whatever's been going on today so yeah and I've got also got weather you guys will already know why that's useful and mail the great thing about mail is it'll notify you straight away if you've got um, a message an email and also here on your messaging service it'll tell you straight away if you have got a message so right now I've got one from a guy called Nick Fisher so yeah if I go on mail application straight away you'll see I'm directly on hotmail and that's because I'm already signed in um, to Hotmail through my Windows 8 PC as you'll see up here and I have the option to sign out because I'm signed in and one of the great things about Windows 8 is that it's linked to your Hotmail I mean when you open up your PC when you start it unlike Windows 7 and Vista and XP where you'd have to type in a username and a password that's specific to your PC Windows 8 makes it easier and it asks for your hotmail username and your hotmail password and yeah it's just great how it's all tied together in this sort of neat little bundle um, I'm gonna show you guys also how you can download your own applications um, so if we go on store and we go to home on store this is the application store and if we go to the top right of your PC and down you'll see that this is a sort of navigation bar you can go to start you can go on settings and power down your PC press shut down that sort of thing um, but what we want is search and search is really useful because you can use this to search on things like Wikipedia and eBay so if we want on the Wikipedia page if we typed in like Windows 8 or something it'd give us information about Windows 8 so let's see what do I want to get um, let's say okay Sage 50 accounts just because it's on my PC screen uh, press enter and we're at the application and we can click on that and it says it's free so we can install it straight away and this won't take long there we go and it's installing and we can go to to installing applications and see it while that's installing I'll also show you guys uh, something really great about Windows 8 you'll probably think that because we're on start menu that's the be all and end all of what's going on on our computer right now this is the only window that's open well actually if you thought that you're wrong if we go to the top left and down you'll see a list of all the windows that are open and you'll see only the things that we've been on so far which is desktop news mail and application store and what Windows 8 basically does is when we go onto an application like mail or news and we get bored of it and we leave it we might later think okay well I want to go back on that but I want to go straight to where I've just been we can do that 
via this. So say if I want to check the update and make sure that it's installed on application store I can go straight to installing apps and you'll see there's nothing being installed so I know it has been installed um, so yeah the way that you can close these windows is just right click on them and press close and that will get your computer running faster if you've got like a whole list of applications like I did when I first started on Windows 8 so yeah now you'll see that we can go straight to this application that we've installed and it's surprisingly quick for something that's just been put on your PC. Uh, needs an email and password. That looks like too much work for me, so I'm just going to leave. And yeah, so that's that for applications. Another thing you'll notice is the programs list. And you've got things like Notepad++ and Google Chrome and Microsoft Publisher. And these are the programs that are built into your desktop or have been installed into your desktop so I can actually click on Google Chrome it'll take me to my desktop and then straight to the program as you'll see so it's taken me to my desktop and straight to Google Chrome so yeah another really easy way to get to where you want to go another thing you'll notice is that I've got a load of Samsung apps here don't worry too much about them at all because yeah, the only real reason they're there is because I've got a Samsung PC right now. Say if you've got a Toshiba PC, you're likely to have Toshiba apps, or if you've got a Lenovo PC, you'll have Lenovo apps, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Another way you can check easily what windows you have open is if you slide four fingers down the sensor pad, and this will just come up, and you can flicker through them all really easy and yeah this is just an easy way to get to where you want to go okay thank you guys for watching this video um, I hope it was helpful and I'm hoping you like Windows 8 as much as I do because it really adds a whole new dimension to computing so make sure you check out my other videos and thanks for watching